Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. The city of Erie working to figure out this hour what exactly turned Saturday's peaceful protest into a riot. Chelsea Withers joins us now from State Street. She's live this afternoon with the latest. Hello, Chelsea. Hey, Dave, good afternoon. I'm standing right outside Ember and Forge, which was one of the businesses that was significantly damaged due to Saturday's riot. Now, I spoke to Erie Police this morning, and they say one thing that they are thankful for is that last night's scheduled peaceful protest did not end the same way Saturday nights did. Protesters taking over the streets of downtown Erie Saturday evening to bring awareness of police brutality following the death of George Floyd. After hours of protesting, hundreds began gathering around the city hall, which led to vandalism to not only the building, but 11 businesses along State Street. One thing the Schumber administration will be investigating is a video that has gone viral, appearing to show an Erie police officer kicking a protester as she sat on the ground. According to Erie police, so far there have been seven people arrested due to the protests, all of whom are local. But there is a belief that it wasn't just Erie natives at the rally. We think there is a, probably a group from out of town that arranges these things and has done it uh, for uh, quite a while in a lot of different cities. And uh, they stay in the background and then they have local people do the things that they get arrested for. And uh, we, we feel really badly about that. The chief also addressing the situation in a statement, stating in part, while those who were arrested all live in Erie, we believe that there were professional rioters present from out of town because we overheard them asking for directions. These organizers know how to get away by using the crowd as a cover. Now, coming up later tonight, we are going to hear from the city of Erie. They have scheduled a press conference for 3.30 this afternoon addressing where the investigation stands, what's going to be done for these businesses. We will bring you all the latest tonight at 5, 5.30 and 6. Dave? You know, Chelsea, despite all the violence that was going on in the weekend, I'm looking over your shoulder where it says Erie Strong. So people are still hanging in there and, and pushing forward. It's, it's a good thing. Absolutely, Dave. I actually had a chance to talk to one of the people doing the sidewalk chart art yesterday. And the thing she said was the reason we need to be having these sort of messages out there is just to show this community rallies together. And one thing they will do is push together and not only to move forward, but to help these businesses bounce back after a devastating weekend. Absolutely, Chelsea. That's what we're all about. Thank you so much.